So, imagine you are in a cool exam room and you bounce up to this and you know you crammed the night before you didn't study, you didn't prepare coming up to the exam. And you're asking yourself to have simultaneous equation in logarithms too. Let's see how we solve this. Let's see very quickly the procedure how to solve this. I'll go through it step by step and give you some knowledge. Get rid of the logs. So the first thing you want to do is get rid of the logs. Which is obvious, right? So you're going to use some log trick, some log rules, and eradicate the logs. Then the system of equations that present themselves, the two equations in terms of x and y, you are going to solve those equations. My battery is going to die just now. So let's see if we can finish this video fast. Solve the system of simultaneous equations. So now, it's very important in pure maths that you practice a lot. Because not only you need to know it, you need to know how to do it quickly and error-free. So practice for speed. And if you have time, use substitution to verify the answer. Meaning the answer that you get at the end, take it and plug it into the original equations in the question and see if it works. Um, little pro tip there. Alright, let's look at this method one. So we have the equations there. Notice I went ahead and labeled equation one, equation two. What I'm going to do here... Um, this is the method most people would use. I am going to I'm going to organize these equations to try and get rid of the log. So I'm going to get rid of this too. So I'm going to re let's let's pick an equation one first. So equation one, you notice what I what I'm what I'm doing here. This two goes up there via the log rule. This rule here, you could actually bring up the power to be up there, or you could send them down to be down there as a coefficient of the log of a. So the, this, this, is a, uh, this, this is a powerful power rule here. Make sure you use it all the time. Then, this addition, this addition vibes here. We're going to um, apply this rule. Log of A plus log of B is equal to log of A multiplied by log of B. Nice, nice, nice. Also, I did get this 2 up here as well, in case you're wondering where this 2 come out from. Now, once I have logs on both sides, I can eradicate the logs and I can say you and you disappear. So, remove any logs then. So, I remove the logs and I end up with, hey, go back there. I end up with this here, equation 3. That's good. So, I organize this equation and if you notice, it's looking nice. It's like a, it's like a normal equation. I mean, it's a little... It's a little crazy. It's a non-linear equation because you've seen y squared and thing, but... It it's, doesn't have the crazy log behind it, so it, it's better. Better, I guess. So equation 2, similarly, you notice we had log of x plus y. We can just quickly, um, for equation 2, switch that to log of x, y, and then remove the logs, and boom, we get equation 4. So now we're going to use equation 3 and equation 4, but we're going to take that, what we're going to substitute for. I'm going to substitute for x because I'm seeing, the reason I'm seeing, I did this question in a live video yesterday and, and I substituted for Y because um, people in the chat say substitute for Y, but X is better here because I'm just seeing, you know, and I said X, uh, this Y is Y squared. I'm substituting for X, but you can substitute for Y as well. Turn down the rain in the background, so this audio could be trash, but um, the content is still great, so drop a like so it could boost up the YouTube algorithm and more people could get knowledge. All right, so x is equal to 6 over y. Take the 6 over y. From here, yeah, you're supposed to know this from your earlier stages of math. Substitute that back into equation 3 right here. Here was x, but instead of x, I wrote, I'm writing 6 over y. And just do some algebra. Break it down and you get this quadratic. Now, there's repeated roots in this quadratic. This, this, is, this comes down to y minus 3. By y minus 3. So y must be equal to 3. And then I'm going to take that y is equal to 3. This is what this is half of the answer from here. So you, if it was out of 8 marks, you probably call it a 6, 6 or 7 marks already. You do all the hard stuff. So you're just going to substitute this 3 back into equation 4. Because equation 4 is the easiest equation. We have exposed. Um, if you remember, equation 4 was x by y equals 6. And if we already find y, we substitute there and we to figure out x. Party done. x equal 2 and y equal 3. Now, don't forget to secure the bag. To secure the bag. 
substitute back the values you get here into one of the original equations and just make sure it makes sense, type it in your calculator. This is very easy to see that log of 2 plus log of 3, 2 by 3, 6. This would be equal to that, so we're good to go. Verify. Uh, let's check another method that students may use or that may actually be better for you in your exam. Now, you always need to keep your mind open when you're doing pure maths. Eh? If you look here, it's in log y here and it's in log y there. So I can like multiply this, e well, I can multiply this equation, this whole equation by 2, I'll get 2 log y here and maybe I can do some, what, what do you think I'm going to do here? I'm multiplying equation 2 by 2. So I get 2 in front there, 2 in front there, and 2 in front there. Right? Seeing that. What do you think I'm going to do here? I, I think I want to rearrange this and, right, nice, bring up the square, the 2 and make square and all of them. So I have this 2 log y here and this 2 log y here. This is a brand new equation, equation 3, and this is equation 2. So, yes, I am going to eliminate it. I'm going to eliminate the y's out of the situation. But how do you eliminate? Do you remember how to do simultaneous, elim simultaneous equations, elimination method? What you do is you subtract equations. So, equation 3, take away equation 1, gives us this. In other words, log of x squared, take away this, this cancels, and this Take away that, that gives me a nice little log equation here. In some cases, this in some cases eliminating a variable may be the faster way to go. In this case, it seems like it's about the same time or maybe a little longer. Um, now understand what's happening here. X squared take away that um, you know the log rules when you have the subtract sign, we go to division. Same thing on both sides. We end up here, we remove the logs 36 over 9. This is 6 squared and 3 squared, so that's 36 and 9. Over 9 gives us 4. So I had 4 on this side. Um, I removed the logs and I also multiplied this x minus 1 by 4 to get 4x minus 4. So you may need to take some time and just watch the algebra there to make sure it makes sense to you. If I, if I maybe make a mistake, check and see. This is a quadratic equation here now, just like before. Just like before, we take that quadratic equation, solve it, we get equal, x equal 2. Now, we don't have the sweet equation we had from before because we didn't really do that. But um, you can substitute it in equation 2, and it works down pretty simple as well. When you substitute the x as log 2, and then bring across the log 2, log 6, take away log 2 is log 6 over 2, y, remove the logs from both sides, and you have y is equal to 6 over 2, which is equal to 3, and you walk away from that question smiling. So about the same time to do this method, Keep your mind open. Maybe you might have to do a little elimination and it will save you lots of time in the exam. Just to recap. You're starting off with the log version. You want to do all kind of tricks. Sometimes you might have to change from log to exponential form. Sometimes you may be, you may be using the rules like what we used in the question a few seconds ago. And you change it from log form to um, exponential form or just a form with y and x and no logs involved. And then you solve for um, x and y. You'll have two equations, solve for x and y. Take your time, practice doing it at a nice pace, and then bring up your pace by repeating questions. So you have the technique down. Cork when it's exam time. If you're feeling good, and you're feeling powerful, and you want to use your power, use your power on these questions here. Use your power on these... How much questions? One, two, three, four questions here. Remember, you may not be able to get them out all at once, but struggle and see if you can figure out a way to get them out. Struggle until you win. You notice you have a log equation here, but no log equation there, so you only need to get rid of the logs in this equation. Same thing here. You notice there's no log on this side, so when you're getting rid of the, equi the log, you may reach down to a line and you just switch to an exponential form and you'll get rid of it. Very nice. You'll see when you do the question. <laughs> This is log on both sides, this, log on. this one is similar to what we just do. Ooh, this one looks a little confusing, but it's actually, they actually start you off further along. So you can just convert this, the exponential form. This is going to be x squared is equal to y minus 18, you understand? The base squared is equal to this here. For those who may not understand, I'll just do a little quick thing on the side here. If you have log to the base a of x is equal to y, this is the same as saying a to the power y is equal to x. Converting from log to exponential form. 
So you do that here twice, you get two equations, two very ridiculous equations, and you'll have some fun with those equations there. Um, and if you're feeling really good and you conquered those questions, you can try this one. This one is a little different because there's a multiplication, there's a base 3, and there's a base 9 here. So if you all get, if you all get the answers for those questions, 1, 2, 3, and 4, put the answer in the comments. And the special, let's see if anybody get the special. If you get the special, what I can do, but I don't know what I can do. Maybe you can get appreciate or something. If you get the special, let's see if you get the special. Put the answer in the comments. Um, and if nobody gets it, maybe I'll do a video on this exact same question sometime. Don't forget to like to boost the YouTube algorithm. Share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Kerwin Springer. Next time, let me know what topics to do. Ting, ting, ting.